Welcome to Richmond Ford. 2015 brings a great year for Ford as we have many new and exciting products coming out. One that we have with us right now is the 2015 Mustang. And we wanted to take a quick look at what differentiates the GT Performance Pack from the rest of the Mustangs. And keep in mind that the Performance Pack can be had on the EcoBoost and the GT. It just so happens we have the full-blown GT right here. The GT is an exciting car and the Performance Pack this year has done lots of changes. Those changes have added up big time. The new GT Performance Pack is faster than the outgoing track-inspired Boss 302, and the 2015 5-liter engines get components from the free-revving Boss 302 block. Starting with the front, the Performance Pack adds a larger radiator, and GTs get a modified front splitter to make sure all 435 raging horses stay cool. Coming around to the side of this Mustang is really where it exposes its more menacing nature. You'll notice right here the biggest giveaway are these ebony black 19-inch rims wrapped in an aggressive P0 Pirelli tire, which is a summer tire, which is another feature that comes with the performance pack. And if you take an even closer look, you'll notice sitting behind these awesome rims are six piston Brembo brakes. And if you know anything about brakes, Brembo is about as good as it gets in the business. Performance pack also adds chassis tuning, focused towards driver enthusiasts with heavy duty front springs, both packs get a beefed up rear sway bar, but the GT gets some more exclusive suspension modifications along with a wider 275 rear tire. Instead of Brembo's, the Boost Sustains get larger rotors. The last touches to the performance pack are subtle, but nonetheless make it just that much more cooler. You'll notice that you get these two gauges right here, a oil pressure PSI and a vacuum gauge. And the last touch would be this, what they call engine turn aluminum trim, which I like, got kind of like a nice brushed aluminum slash carbon fiber feel to it. Very nice place to be in this Mustang. And on EcoBoost packs, the vacuum gauge is substituted for an always entertaining boost gauge. The ABS, stability control, and steering feel have all been fine-tuned on performance versions to let the driver get that much closer to the edge of the Mustang's exhilarating performance. Coming around to the back of the Mustang, you will notice, or you may not notice, that the GT packs get a spoiler delete. And while you can't see it, behind this area right here, exclusive to the GT performance packs, is a 3.73 torsion rear axle. From every angle, the Mustang is a great looking car, but it's from the rear where you really find the best seats in the house. And since we're already back here, well, why not treat ourselves to a little good old fashioned American muscle music? As I mentioned throughout the video, the EcoBoost Performance Pack and the GT Performance Pack do differ in a couple things. The GT Performance Pack gets a couple little extra goodies, that being the 3.73 axle in the back. While they both have upgraded suspension, the GT gets upgraded sway bars, struts, and upgraded K-brace. And lastly, the GT Pack gets the awesome Brembo brakes. Either way you slice it, if you enjoy driving, and not only enjoy driving, love Mustangs like I do, you will end up with an awesome ride if you opt for the Performance Pack. Please don't forget to subscribe to us, like the video if you like it, and if you want to see a less detailed, just quick look, check out our A New Pony Car video right over here. Come to Richmond Ford for all your automotive needs. Comment below and let us know which Performance Pack you choose. New school turbocharging or good old school V8. And don't forget to spend less and love your drive. Come check us out, we'll be waiting.